Hello, Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and in this video, we're going to see how to use the Assemble tool inside of Autodesk Inventor 2011. Now, what the new Assemble tool does is streamline our workflow for placing constraints inside of the assembly environment, and we'll see how just by clicking components in the correct manner, we can place those uh, assembly constraints. So I'll choose my Assemble tool, and I begin just by clicking on the inside diameter of the washer and on the mating knuckle. And just by those picks, Inventor defines those to be inserts. So I can change my offset, and I can also control whether it's a aligned or an opposed insert using my direct manipulation tools, just like that. I can go ahead and choose Assemble again and repeat for the next component. There we are, just picking that ID, picking the corresponding ID, and using my pullout right here to change that to aligned and completing that. Next we'll move on to the pin. I'm going to right click and repeat uh, the assemble and now again picking by that ID I can go ahead and finish off that assembly right there and now we've put that pin in. Now this dowel is going to be a little bit different. We can take advantage of another inventor tool that's really going to help us out. So I'm going to invoke my assemble tool and now I don't get the constraint I want but I can hover and take advantage of the select other tool and that's going to help me get the constraint I want just by clicking through my available options. There we'll, I'm going to use that made axis, pick that and then made axis to this hole right here hitting the green check mark to accept that. So now I'm going to go ahead and pull in this nut component here and I'll rotate that around just to get it into a better approximate position. Back to the assemble tool hovering for a second and getting that select other tool using that to help place that nut on its corresponding shaft now. Almost there. Going back to assemble there's that, that select other again. We'll choose him, place him. Now we're just about done. One more constraint and I'm going to carry on. Right click and repeat assemble. I'll pick that face and I'll use my select other tool one time but not not to change the type of constraint just to change the face I'm using and that's going to go ahead and complete that and just like that I've used the assemble tool to put this entire assembly together. That's it for the assemble tool. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.